All right, baby, is the fight here? Has Luffy brought it to Luchi? It's time to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster. I Shinobi. We have episodes 294 and 295 of One Piece today. Now, in the last one, I mean, all these fights have been going down against CP9. It has been a lot. Chopper going like God mode, basically, turning into this giant Titan. Nami still fighting Khalifa at this point in time. And Zoro and Usopp, I guess, uh, still being chased by the, the wolf and the, the giraffe. It's just chaos in in East Lobby, if I'm being honest. We're gonna hop right into this one. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub and hit that big boy bell. Let's get started. Here we go. Give it to him, baby. I brought chimney, actually. Oh, he's, he's he means like, you know, the crew and everything. <laughs> They'll make it all eventually. I mean, how are they supposed to find their way down there unless chimney goes and he's, uh, she's like, hey guys, come on down. This fight ends once Zoro gets completely used to Usopp or Ahsoka King being a blade. That's when this ends, because they're done so once, once he gets that under control. <laughs> I love just the gap in the ceiling where the building's cut. It looks so goofy. <laughs> it's too shaping, man. Damn! Don't let her talk to you like that, Nami! Why can two legends not coexist? You know what I'm saying, Khalifa? Frank, you've done plenty, man. You've done plenty. I love Chopper just on the side of the building. So is it just gonna be time wearing off? Or is, I, I assume he's just gonna pass out at some point. Sanji! Get up, man! Oh, it's gonna wear off. He'll be back soon enough. I'm starting to think of the implications of all of this too, and them launching this like full-scale attack on such a higher-up government building is going to be a huge deal. Especially like if we do check in on like the Elder Stars, like what they think of this. Oh my god! That's not your radio! No, no way, no! Not like this! There's no way he did that on accident. There's no way! You spam them is, is, is not a real person! Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, that dude's huge! Oh my gosh! Five vice admirals. Where is this? Oh my god, everybody's gonna know. I thought that by the end of this, that a Buster Call would have been enacted because they would have gotten so far and so close to taking Robin back. I thought they would have had Spandam like about to die and he was gonna whip it out and press it. It would have been this big moment. But instead, he's just a dumbass. Oh my god. Can't be serious, man. Can you cancel it? But they all know. Boy, poor Robin knows what a buster call entails. <laughs> they can hear everything. <laughs> Don't move. I'm tied up. Oh, he's fine. He's like, oh yeah, I probably want to press it anyways. Yeah. He's going to expose himself for not caring about anybody on an 80s lobby. And he's going to say, I don't care as long as I get out of here. And what he says next is going to completely expose him. Oh, dang. He's going to say he doesn't care. He never has. Dude is spineless. I right, don't make, don't, don't take me back to this episode. Robin is very important to the government. She's the only key. I still think he burned like a copy or something. There's no way he would ditch on, on Tom's life works like that after protecting him for so many years. They could use her for deciphering, but I think she would die before she deciphered for someone else, especially the government. They all hear that! You're messing up, Spandem. Just shit. <laughs> well, well, well. Damn! Oh my gosh. <gasps> How can you tell? Oh, because the eyes are open? I love how the snail's facial expressions change based on what they're saying. <laughs> Hey, you have to give 
give him credit. That was, that was pretty funny, actually. That was quite funny. Would they really nuke any Slobby, though? Like, it's a government island. Why would they nuke it? They nuked Ohara because they wanted no trace of it. So what's, like, the ETA on them arriving, then? I mean, what about you, bro? Luffy will handle it. Kokoro is laughing. A really twisted one. Kokoro is starting to feel like Oda incarnate. Just like spectating over it, like enjoying herself. Himself, I guess in this case though. They're just leaving. That's what I'm saying. I guess the only way to find out is what happens whenever they get there. Dude, it just looks like there's no structural integrity at all. Like, what cannon hits that little sliver and it's gone? And I feel like that's what's gonna happen. There's no way, especially if an attack is launched on any slobby. Are you guys all worried about yourselves? Dude, that one Frankie family member always catches my eye when it's a group. You know exactly which one I'm talking about, too. Be safe a days of justice. No storm! Uh, it's not Chopper coming, bro. I'm sorry. It's something different. How many times is he going to hit Robin before she gets a really nice punch in on his face? Because it's going to feel really good if she does. Behind him. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot, baby! At least give me time. He ain't got time to waste. Oh, damn! Knocked his hat off. Luffy, don't waste any time. Second gear, baby. Let's get into it. I want to see you clap his cheeks. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. The punch heard around the world. What's going to happen first? Is Luchi going to transform back into his animal form or is Luffy going to go second gear? This little tie. I wish Luchi was a good guy, man. The little pigeon is so cute. Got his smile is like the Grinch. <laughs> Sanji's getting done so dirty in these shots, man. All right, well, things just went from like 100 to 1,000 real quick with Buster Call being enacted. And now there's just little to no time for everything to go down because how long is it going to take them to get to any Slobby? We don't even know where the call, like where they're, they're, I guess, sending people out from. It is interesting how he said Aokiji. Well, did Aokiji give it to him? I think he said he did. So I guess that would make sense if, if it came from Aokiji. But dude, because a Buster Call was, was initiated, that means we get to meet five vice admirals. And I love love meeting like higher ups in the Navy because they're super intimidating usually. And I don't know how long it's going to take or how it goes down, but I am here for it. 295, let's get it. These angles, man. I'm, I'm, stop. God, dude, he's just the worst. I do like though, you have to have every now and then a villain that is just trash human. That is just an absolute garbanzo. Not even, not even strong. Just a piece of trash. Yeah, she believes now. Let's go. She knows that Luffy's made it that far that he's he's not stopping. Yeah, it's kind of all changed now. Not saying that he's right, but it has all changed because Buster Call was enacted. Because even if they take down all of CP9, everybody's gonna show up. All the, this giant fleet. Do the thing. He just threw him. Oh, he's not wasting time. He's trying to book it past him. Uh, actually quite smart on Luffy's behalf. But Luigi being the strongest in CP9, you're going to have to actually like incapacitate him first, not just throw him. Also, Luffy uh, does not have the keys to the handcuffs. So he's, he's kind of fighting with just emotion right now. Oh, this is fire. I've been waiting for this, baby. The rematch. One of them's gonna have to power up eventually. Luffy, you had to go second gear to take down Bluno. He's like three Blunos, if, the, if I remember the power scaling correctly. Chimney, you better run. That building might fall on you, girl. <laughs> she really has helped like an insane amount. Oh no, they've been had. Oh, they're not much. Not, they're not up to much. Just carrying this arc on their backs. She's so proud. 
And it's still not gonna show us, huh? I love little tiny Luffy. It's so cute. Yeah, me either. <laughs> yeah, it is. She really is a spectator just for all of this. Uh -huh. Gonna have to wrap it up. Nami will really have to outsmart her though. Being in her environment like this. Well, she's gonna turn into what Sanji did. Okay. Dog, I'm... I'm... Golden Mama! Well, guess that's it. Khalifa is now taking down Sanji and Nami. Oh. She's still trying to fight! Bro, it looks so goofy! Reducing your curves. <laughs> I would say more than half. She can barely stand. Maybe she could do something. I don't... Wait. What? Mirage? How is she standing normally? Oh, it's another. How many did she make? Oh, shoot! Chopper's here! She. Does she think that's Nami? <laughs> she may be beautiful. No, I mean, that kind of works. Maybe he should do that. Like, more randomness would be harder to predict. Keep swinging, Soga King. He got a serious look again. Huh? Oh, he's trying to, like, hype him up. Let's go, it worked! He's so easy. Hanarashi. <laughs> Mackie? Maki? Maki? Lacquer? Lacquer? What if he put the one with Usopp or with Soga King in his mouth? And that was the that was that blade. That would be insane control. Oh my gosh, he is baiting him in. Oh, there were like two terms for it? Ah. Genius. One more time. <laughs> God, dude, he's so large. She still does not realize that's not Nami. Yeah, it, it literally looks exactly like him. <laughs> Just enormous. She still hasn't realized that Nami yelled from behind her. He, you're not gonna be able to control him. Don't try. Oh no. Yeah, she doesn't know. That's not why. I don't think he would be able to. Oh, sure, sure. We'll forget about it. It's chill. Me and my beauty. Bobby, don't stand there. Oh my god, it's gonna come crashing down. Sanji's is so defeated. Oh my god, he just killed Sanji. Oh my gosh. He might go crashing down at this rate. He's not a pet, he's emergency food. She just keeps ignoring her. Oh? Did something cause it? Wetness? Oh. Oh. Okay. I've got it so. Wait, how is she running on both legs? Wouldn't she be hopping? I mean! It's not even that complicated. As complicated as I thought it'd be. It's just water. You have to adapt, Nami. Ooh! Would that hurt less because of the way she is? Maybe it acts like a barrier? And again, she gets up. If it rains, then bada boom, bada bing. Wash it off every time. She's just spinning it? <laughs> well, how is that thing still up? She's back, baby! Just vanishes. Or she kind of creepy like that. 
What is Fanta Morgana? What is going on with this fight, man? We start with like Luffy and Luchi and oh my God, just in with chaos. All right, well, that is it for those two. Buster Call being enacted, just absolute insanity. Who knows how long it's gonna take them to get there, but at this point, the clock is ticking and we're reaching a sort of a climax here, it feels like, especially since everybody outside is gonna dip. So in the end, it's just gonna be CP9, the straw hats and then the navy once they all arrive but honestly if, if they're anywhere near because like they're close to like the main navy base right they said any sloppy is, is, is really close to it and then they were getting closer and closer and closer so who knows maybe it could be like next episode that they show up and just start raining hell down but again we don't even know how they're going to go about things once they get there if it is going to be like an ohara 2.0 where they just rain just bombs down basically either way i would imagine at least one like navy vice admiral would go and like survey what's going on first so maybe that does buy us some time but guys that's been it for episodes 294 and 295 of our one piece watch through do drop us up on the channel if you are new with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace